Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. It has been a little while. So much has come up. It's just been an absolute mess. Whew. I am so glad to be back here. Uh, I thought that we had met everybody that there is to meet, but we haven't. So if you are new here, we are playing through the Skyrim Romance Mod 3.0 with our gallant, beautiful, sassy, molassy. <laughs> ranger here. I'm a little bit overtired, but I really wanted to get this out. Everything's been bugging out like crazy, so I had to do a completely new just wipe all my downloads and then and then, then re-download them all and make everything work. And then it was just it was just a mess. But now we're back and no bugs are happening. We're exactly where we ended off and I found out thanks to a brilliant YouTuber who, or, or, or YouTube commentator that I will definitely remember the name of soon, uh, she let me know that I have not met Thorn. So we are going to go all the way over to Falkreath because it's not like we're doing anything right now. Let's see, let's see what we are doing. Oh, Alduin's Wall. Well, nope, sorry. Alduin's Wall is just going to have to wait. We are going to Falkreath. We are going to Falkreath, and we're going to meet, we're going to go to Helgen, kill some bandits, and we're going to go to Falkreath, and we're going to meet Thorn, and he's going to give us hell, and it's going to be beautiful. I'm super excited. All right, let's, let's figure out how to get to Helgen, or not Helgen, Falkreath, over here. Awesome. So it looks like there's a road that goes right down to Falkreath. Awesome, awesome. Ooh, I still need silver bolts. I'm out of lockpicks. What are we going to do, Bishop? What are we going to do? Bishop, what are we going to do? Fools! Wow, I'm meant to sneak. Ooh, this is scary. Where are we going? Alright, we can do this. It's been a while. I got my trusty desk. Ah! Bishop! No bolts equipped. Am I out? Oh my god, am I out? Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Money. Iron Hunter Spear. Nope. Where are you, dear? Oh, you're up in the tower. Where is Bishop at? Alduin tore through this place. Where are you, sweetie? Oh, there you are. I don't think so. Noise. Oh wow, that's a that's a big jump. Better not do that. Let's go over here. Jump through here, like we did to escape Alduin. We are going to Falkreath, even if it kills us. No idea where Bishop's at. Okay, we are free. Free as can be. Oh, that's Bishop. What's up, brah? Running, running, and running, running. Goodness. I cannot wait to see Thorn, and then we're going to see how Bishop... I think the Thorn meeting might be different than what I remember, so I'm kind of excited to see what that's all about. Thorn had a lot of potential to... Ah! 
Don't make me hurt you. <sighs> okay, wolves. Oops. There you go. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Why can't I sprint? There we go. Wow, that was weird. Um. Tell you what, you start. It's a very dumb thing to be doing, Mister. Gosh, I just want to get to Falkreath. How do how do villagers travel? That's what I want to know. We're almost there. Oh my god, more enemies. Why? What did I do to you? What you got to do? I'm going to stab you in the face. What you going to do, he says. Psh. In the dragonborn. Fusroda. Or or Fusro, that works too. Alright, running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running. We're almost in Falkreath. So if I'm correct, they should be right at the entrance of Falkreath. Wherever that is. Maybe we should wait a bit. Just a couple hours of their sunlight. I do not see them, but they might not have loaded yet. I'm excited. Thorn is kind of a jackass. Oh, maybe it's the other entrance. My, now that's some fine armor. Good old-fashioned steel. Thank you. Staying out of trouble, kinsman. Yep. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. Huh. Where are you, Thorn? For a dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Why there? Come here, Bishop. We need to talk. Safe. Hold up. Now that we're in Falkreath, I need to tell you about something. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? Someone you'd rather not meet. His name's Thorn. And he's nothing but a vicious son of a bitch that needs to be put down like the rabbit dog he is. Who? Tell me how you really Let's feel, Let's just say it? he'll take you by force, if he can. <laughs> Every time I hear his name mentioned, it comes with another sad story of a wench being raped. Look, I was a bandit too, but he is something else. I never liked him. We were pretty much on opposite sides. In fact, he still wants me dead. Good, I was looking for a reason to kill someone today. Bloodthirsty, are we? <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> he belongs in the pits of oblivion for what he's done. We'll send him there, after I've snapped every single bone in his body. Goddamn, Bishop. I've marked his hovel on your map. Whether we avoid it or hunt him down is up to you. I won't lie that I'd like to see his head rolling. Yay! Bishop and I, gang is at it again. Where's his hovel? Thorn's cave. Let's go to Thorn's cave and see what he's like. Might make a friend. Come on, Bishop. I don't know where Conwear is. I'm afraid I, I lost Conwear, but I'll get him. Actually, I think I might be able to summon Conwear. I can. All right, let's summon Conwear. Where's the puppy? I hear the puppy, but I can't. There's a pupper. Come on, boy. All right, let's get our great sword back. Oh, we do still have five silver bolts.
All right, let's do this. It looks like uh, Thorn's a bit darker. I mean, he did. He's always been uh, rather rapey, but I'm wondering what we're gonna find in here. Ooh, there's a door. Fancy cave. Asgard. How do you feel about this, Bishop? They just closed the gates on us. What was that? Me. Over here! Come back here. Not impressed. No. Connor, get him. Good boy. Good boy, Con. We are. Okay. This looks pretty normal. Oh. Okay. Torture tools and a naked lady. Are cowards and deserve nothing but my blade wow. in their throat. Okay. What do we got in the chest? I need those. I need that. I need that. And I need that. Wow. Okay. What about in this one? Door is barred from the other side, so that's how we're getting out of here. Whew. I'm gonna say I don't really like Thorn. This is what his men are doing to ladies. Yeah, you take care of that. My man. Free. Well, it's about damn time. Capturing a woman from her home. Keeping her bound like an animal. Ridiculous. Holy shit. Well, chill out, Rana. Oh my god. Oh my lord. One sec. What the hell did they do to this one? That's terrifying. Okay. I wonder where the bandits keep their food and ale in this place. That's not really what I'm worried about right now, Bishop. There are straight up, oh, people dead here. Like, I give zero fucks about ale right now. It's actually so sad. Oh my gosh. Thorne's gotta pay for this shit. Bandits are desperate men. They have nothing to lose, and they fight like it. They say we just slit their throats and be done with it. Carrot. Okay. Fools! Rota! Is there anyone in here? Or is it just more torture? Yes, I want the pelts. I am going to learn how to skin or, or make You call yourself a Nord? I don't call myself a Nord, I am a Nord. You're not a Nord. Whew. This is this is Intense, oh my gosh. Bandits would stab each other in the back if it meant an extra coin in their pockets. Probably. I'm not saying I don't blame them. Is be someone there? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Literally everybody in here should die a horrible death. I sh I sh This is awful. Just awful deaths all around.
Okay, let's go find Thorn. Unless there's more horrors to uncover. Uncover. Nope, here's Thorn. Bandits know nothing of pity or mercy. We're gonna switch to the crossbow now. Say we treat them in kind. Well, well. Look who decided to show his face, boys. It seems you come bearing a gift. Huh. So, Bishop's your old friend. A friend? Oh no, my little mouse. Far from it, in fact. Got it all wrong, Thorn. She's not a mouse. I'd say she's much more than that. Isn't she? She is a woman, Bishop. Women are soft and delicate. That's the purpose they serve. Wow. This little mouse here will serve hers on my furs today. <laughs> whether she likes it or not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see your powers of observation have not changed, Thorn. Still can't see past your own image, can you? <laughs> well, it was my own image that defeated you, was it not? You claim to be of the best out there. But truth is, you're a pathetic, scared little rodent. I'm gonna really enjoy killing Unlike him. Unlike your company here. Wow. Anyone can see that. Anyone as vain as you. <laughs> that, from the man that cares for no one but himself. Very well. Let's take a closer look to our little mouse here. Oh, oh, oh. What have we here? Oh, God. He's so cringy. <laughs> the almighty dragonborn. Now this, Whew. this is certainly a peace offering, Bishop. Oh, can we please kill the him? The stories of how I conquered the dragonborn <laughs> will be told for ages Sorry, Bishop. to come. I got a little then, excited. Once I am finally done with her, I will bring her in and claim the price on her head. The gold will have me, us, set for life. Is that so? It is. I should thank you for presenting her to me. And what do I get for this? <laughs> Bishop? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, perhaps I will let you have some fun with her as well. After me and my boys are done, of course. You wish, Thorn. Would that be wise, I wonder? You do remember what happened the last time we spoke. Oops. You don't want to fight me, Thorn. It's been years since our last meeting. We fought to a draw that time, but I've learned a Where's lot Where's your popper? Get ready for a fight, babe. On the other hand, you've probably stayed hidden in the forest all these years. Being the brave warrior you are, fighting bunny rabbits and squirrels. Funny you should mock me, Bishop. You know perfectly well how easy it would be for me to simply skin you alive. With your own hunting knife, no less. Let's see, six to two? Yeah, I like those odds. Yep. I should warn you, though, if we are doing this, I am going to carve my name into that face of yours. That ought to tear the heart right out of you, huh? Go ahead and try it. Oh. Huh. So if you are welcoming death today, the Dragonborn and I will accommodate you. Kill Bishop if you must. I want the Dragonborn alive. Oh, the fun we will have together. Nope. <laughs> be careful. Fuck, I missed. Did you hear that? This should be Something good. is nearby. Ha! Goodbye, Thorn. Alright, let's pull out the great sword. That was satisfying. Oh. Bishop is not taking care of me. Oh my god, these guys are strong. You 
can do. Are there more? God's help us. Thank you. Oh no. You okay? Let's see what Thorn had on him. Eh. Eh. Useless junk. Well that was that was something. Oh, he's stuck in combat mode. Bishop regarding Thorn. That son of a bitch got what he deserved. Had it coming for a long time. Hey, what's with that look? Oh, oh right. Man. He was being kind of a dick. That thing you told Thorn what uh, you would get in return for handing me over. Yeah, about that. <laughs> about that. You... What in oblivion were you thinking, you jackass? I was buying us time, woman. Playing along to lower his guard. We were outnumbered, if you hadn't noticed. I needed to think of something to keep us both from being killed. What, you really have so little faith in me that you think I'd do something like that? Hmm. Of course, you're right. I shouldn't have doubted you. We make a pretty good team, though. Yes, yes we do. I didn't think you'd give me that sort of trust. Some would say that's either very brave or very foolish of you. Maybe one day you'll see it was worth it, princess. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here, and let's go find. Ooh, there's a chest here. Ooh, there's a potion of vigor. Petty soul gem, amethyst. Ooh, orcish bow. I like. All right, let's figure out a way out of here, and we are going to go into the wilderness and see if any new events have uh, triggered. I think I am officially finished meeting everybody. I might have missed somebody, so uh, obviously if I have, just let me know in the comments below. Um, this has been fun. Now time to follow the dead bodies. Whew. Let's go see what Bishop had to say. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. <coughs> Oof. Yeah. Oof. All right, Bishop, we are out in the middle of nowhere, just where you like it. Come ravish me. I'm kidding. Don't ravish me yet. Bishop. We need to talk now. Ooh, calm down. Ooh, goodness. We need to talk about what? We should go. Leave Skyrim for all I care. Just you and me. Away from all this insanity. We can disappear and no one would ever find us. We can go to Cyrodiil, High Rock, anywhere you want. Just so long as it's not here. And we can even take on new names. Leave this place far behind us and then live entirely different lives. Together. A life where you wouldn't have to be in constant danger. Wow, okay, um... Whew, what are you talking about? Uh, do you ever listen to anything I say? Always, Doesn't every what word. I think means something? Or do you just think of me as a shield for you to hide behind? Uh. Oh, I want to slap him, but that didn't go so well last time. Calm down, let's talk about this, please. Why do you do it? Is it the thrill of looking death in the face? Is that why you run around Skyrim challenging every damn dragon? Mm -hmm. Give me one good reason why, and a better reason than the soul of some overgrown lizard. That's not a good enough reason for me to watch you put yourself in danger, and for what? Because of some ancient prophecy? Did you even stop to think about what all this might mean to me? Um... I almost lost my head. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, you know. You've faced death more times than once, Princess. We've had everything imaginable thrown at us, and that's what worries you? Do forgive my skepticism, oh mighty Dragonborn. 
<laughs> I'm the least likely option to get you killed. If I were you, I'd choose the obvious, which is to run away with me. I can protect you, keep you alive. You just don't give up, do you? Why would I? You don't know me well enough by now, you never will. Nothing worth having is easily gained. We belong together, can't you see that? No one else in this world will ever be good enough for either of us. <sighs> You're mine. And I'll be damned if I'm about to give you up. Oh my god. Together, I'd love that. I'll keep you safe, no matter what comes our way. You'll never have to watch your back as long as I'm with you. <sighs> You're the only one I'd want to do this with. Your safety and happiness are the only things that matter to me now. I know what it's like to fight to just survive. Right now, we don't have to. Give me one night where you don't have to be the Dragonborn. One night where you're just a woman with her man. Let me show you what it means to be mine. No regrets, no conditions. It'll be worth it, I promise you. I'm going to take you up on that just later. Later? I can be patient. Very patient, it seems. Lead the way, milady. I guess I'll just have to settle for the view of your <laughs> lovely hips swinging right in front of me in the meantime. Oh, my lord. That was some deep shit. Oh, my god. Do you have anything else to say, my dear? Anything else at all? Hmm. Why do you look disapproving every time we help someone? Why do you always agree to help them? Because I fucking can. Ha! Because I can help them. Oh, how so very nice of you. Mighty Dragonborn roaming all over Skyrim and helping everyone in need while disregarding her own and those of who travel with her. No one cares, sweetness, if any of us get hurt. They just want their stuff. In case you haven't noticed, helping people is kind of my thing. Sure, risking my hide and hair is a great way to go about that. You don't have to come. <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? Dance for the masses? Are you kidding me? The only risk there is that you might get your ass pinched. By some drooling idiot. Anyway, I don't recall forcing you to come. Ugh. Of course you didn't. That was my own free will, right? You could have gone back at home at any time. <sighs> Why do you insist on tagging along? Tagging along, she says. I've saved you more times than I care to count. Yeah, you're right. If you hate it so much, why are you still here? Because I love you, you stupid woman! <laughs> you both freeze in shock the moment the words leave his mouth. I love you. And I can't bear the thought of something happening to you because of some idiot's needs. Bishop, I... <sighs> like you care. Enough talking. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. To oblivion with you. Goodness gracious, what do I even do now? How do you follow that? <laughs> no, I'm not asking you about Kale. Not a fucking chance. Okay. Wow. A marriage proposal is not far off. Am I still wearing his ring? I need to be wearing his ring. Yes, I am. Hey, Bishop. What do you think about Kale? Do you really think that he's interested in you? Probably. What do you mean? You heard me. The Forsworn. If you really think that man is interested in you, then I have clearly misjudged your intelligence. Bishop, don't ruin the fucking moment. You just said that you loved me. Just, 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 uh, clearly he wants something. Don't take me for some love-struck girl. Well then, if you're so smart, what do you think he wants? Sex. Love. To sweep me off my feet and he's doing a much- No, he's not. Never mind. Uh, he wants what every man wants. To lure you in. Clearly you're blinded with infatuation. Not for him. I know what I'm doing. 
No, you don't. He's forsworn. You think that if you weren't the Dragonborn that he would just spare you from some bloody ritual? Hmm. You don't kid yourself. He knew what he was doing, and you took the bait. He wants the Dragonborn, not you. A woman with the soul of a dragon would make for a thrilling hunt, don't you think? Doesn't matter who that woman is. You'd do best to remember that the next time he's wielding that honey-coated dagger of a tongue. You... you are not a nice person, Bishop. You're not nice. That was not nice of you. God, you ruined the moment. What do you think of Falkreath? What an impressive graveyard they've got here. Mm. When I die, I don't want to be stuffed into one of these sad little plots of dirt. <laughs> I want my ashes to be spread upon the open forest, away from damn society. Don't talk about you dying. I don't want you to die. I'd rather you did not talk about dying. That's just... I can't handle that. My heart is just... My heart can't handle that. Oh, I'm fast traveling to see if there's anything else this damn fool has to say. Oops. I'm watching Pretty Woman. <laughs> oh, man. That was some deep shit. Oh, my gosh. All right, Bishop. Anything to say? No? Nothing at all? Alright, fine. Can I ask you something? What do you want to ask? Your wolf Conway is sweet. He likes you. You know why? Because I have a way with fucking wolves? Not afraid of him like the others. Once you understand an animal, you don't need to be afraid of it. See, and that's why you and he understand each other. You understand what he is, what he does. But most importantly, and this is the most important, you understand what he's capable of doing. I know we were talking about a wolf, but we weren't. What do you want to ask? Um... <laughs> we all know how he's going to answer this. I serve and protect the citizens of Skyrim with different quests. Will you help? Why are we even helping them? They deserve to die. We are wasting our time here. Chill the fuck out. Oh my god. What are you talking about? Why are we even helping them? They deserve to die. We are wasting time here. No, they don't deserve to die. They need me. I will not abandon them. Playing hero again, I see. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's not even a dialogue option after that. He's just... He's... Just, oh my god. This is so aggravating. We're gonna fast travel again and see if he'll apologize for being a dick. But <laughs> you probably won't, let's be real. Riften no, 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 no. Riften stables. He likes the rift. Because he can show me where we can sneak around without any clothes. <laughs> this is just I just want him to love me, guys. I just want to end this on like a an exhilarating note with with all the love in the world. Love me. I want to speak with you. Please be nice. Please. Yes, what do you want to talk about? I No, I can't. Can't what? I can't. I can't do this. This isn't me. For my whole life, I've never cared about anyone but myself. And now, I care about you. I care about you too. Bishop, wait. No, let me finish. I can't be sure when it happened. When a hunter's <sighs> jealousy of someone more lucky to get his prey transformed into this. When the desire of betting you changed into the joy of just being near you. When I started feeling contentious holding you in my hands. Every time you stand in front of another blasted dragon, I freeze inside, thinking that this one may become the last, despite our combined skills. Every time you sleep wounded, I dread to close my eyes, fearing to see you dead when I open them. <laughs> Pat Bishop on the back. Hug Bishop. 
Is that an expression of sympathy? No. Don't answer up. I don't care. Love me. Oh my god. I'm just... This man is just... I know of a few hiding spots in the Rift's <laughs> forests. There we can be alone with no distractions and perhaps okay, no Okay, what the f what the fuck? and weapons all for sale at fair. Real talk. Distracted, Please easily distracted. What the fuck is this? Is this place? I know this is the slums of Riften. This is basically the mod. It's just the gross side of Riften. But there's a tower. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not in the mood. Whew. Wow. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. I want to do it again. I fast travel again. We're going to go to... We are going to go to his happy place. And we're going to talk to him one more time. We're going to see... We're going to see if, if this pushes him over the edge. I don't... Oh my goodness. I am flailing all over the place. Goodness gracious me. Come on, Bishop. Let's go up, up, up high to the sky. This place is gorgeous. Whew, Bishop, you romantic bandit bastard, you. Let's go all the way up. All the way up here. All the way up. Oh, this is a little... Too high. Bishop, where are you? Bishop. Hi, Conware. You're great, but where's Bishop? Bishop, hi. Uh, you look like you have something on your mind, Bishop. I don't know if I'm, like, physically prepared for this. Whew. Because I do. Let me ask you something. How do you feel about being the Dragonborn? That's a hard question to answer. No one can claim the power I have. I was meant for this. Mm, meant for it. You shout at rotting corpses all day, <laughs> fetch things, get bossed around, and have flying lizards attack you all the time. Yeah. Haven't you ever looked beyond that? Power is not the only thing you have. People care for you. I mean, if you would just look for once and see how this entire lifestyle of yours is affecting us. You! I mean you. Us, what are you trying to say? You can be really blind sometimes, you know that? <laughs> I love you. Damn it. Damn it, I've never felt for another woman what I feel for you. You know, at the start I tried fighting it, but I'm done trying. Just know that whatever happens, whatever comes our way, we'll face it together. I won't let you fall. I can't lose you, and I won't. Bishop, I... So fearless going against dragons <laughs> that you freeze when I tell you I love you? There's nothing to be afraid of. You said you trusted me, remember? Hmm. You love me, Bishop. I, I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. Except what you mean, ladyship. I've already said my part. I love you. Even if you don't in return. I love you too. I always have. Always? <laughs> well then, the joke's on me for taking this long to notice. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Know this and never forget it. Whatever. Whoever tries to take you away from me, they'll all fail. You're mine to protect, even if you can do it yourself. I love you. Nothing will ever change that. Oh, 
Oh lordy, okay, oh my gosh. Well, I think this is a good spot to end it for now. A marriage proposal cannot be far off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope I'll have one out a lot sooner than this this uh, this one. Whew, I am just so pleased. That was just a, a lot of a lot of bishop. Oh my gosh, things are really heating up. I am super excited. So in the next episode, we're gonna go travel around and talk to bishop some more and trigger some more events and maybe just maybe hopefully a marriage proposal isn't far um this has been so much fun guys thank you so much for all your support tune in real soon and i'll have the next episode up asap love you bye